Hey everyone, to Gaius Moon back with another episode of My Time at Sandrock. The plan for today is to try and gain some resources without getting too many commissions because I'm running low and I really do need another wooden box just to put the other special stuff in because I can't keep on adding a new slot every time I run out of room. Put my fingers in the right spot. I missed last Saturday night's Blue Moon story, didn't I? Dang it. Is this going to be a cutscene, or is it just taking too long to load again? Oh yeah, I also remember, forgot something else. Pablo. Oh yeah, the hairdresser. I love this auto flip button. So useful. Okay, so that's that done. Did upgrade. I need marble slab and a machine upgrade kit. Hammer time and monsters. And this I need marble. Okay. Well, let's take a look at hammer time. Oh, 
Wednesday, it's medicine day. Shit. Oop, that's not it. Two birds, one stone. So long, partner. Could you help me deliver once again? I'm almost done with my backlog, so I promise, pinky promise, absolutely give you an audio guarantee that it is the last time. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. Next time I'll trouble someone else, for this is the last time to use your precious time. These guys are to be sent to Vivi's clothes shop tailor-made on Main Street. I guess that Vivi has set up a brand new style. Hey there! First, I'll get you your commission. Be seeing ya! Okay. Howdy. Catch you later. Hey, 
these my dice from by the stairs? But why you here delivering them? I told that boy I can just walk over and get it myself. He wouldn't have any of it. Said he'd come give it to me anyway. But I see he's a tricksy one, that RVO. Getting you to do it for me. Well, do this old gal a favor. <laughs> Tell him not to get others to do his lackey work. Making you deliver stuff all alone is certainly laborious work. Even if you're tired of hearing it, I want to express my deep sincere thanks. Oh, can you guess what I've got you as a reward? I already think of you a real-life superhero, so I've prepared an equally exceptional reward. Please accept an exclusive discount at By The Stairs, valid for seven days starting right now. Amazing, isn't it? Take it. Wow, we really are like two peas in a pod. Just remember, only the next seven days. So come and bye bye bye. Oh, I always need an extra one. Definitely going to need more salt No way. I think that's all I really want from here. I guess I can take the lamp for additional health. Okay. Hey, you must be the builder. Allow me to extend a warm welcome to Sandrock on behalf of Pablo's parlor. I'm Pablo, the head stylist. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I've been staying at Walnut Creek. I didn't know we were getting two new builders. Looks like you two are getting along swimmingly. But, if I may say so, it also kind of looks like you've been swimming. In sand and dust. <laughs> That's where I come in. Whenever you want to change your style, get a new do, stop into my shop and I'll get that dust off and make sure you stand out in a crowd. Howdy! Catch you later. Rock and roll. Get away from the kid again. Okay, so now next. I think there's anything here. Boots. Ability power. They sell what you have. Uh, do, 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 do. Defense one, ability power four. Defense one, ability power four. It doesn't really matter. I prefer the hat I have right now. Why not? 
course, stupid me didn't look to see if that was on a... if it was exorbitant or not. Okay, so this is Endurance 6, Ability to Power 5. Ability to Power is down, but the Endurance is up. Great! That's the wrong way. Q, I think, is to turn it around. I have one more thing. Mm. Nope, doesn't look like it. duster there. And health here. Health here. Something that has immediate stamina. Right there. I do wake up to a sandstorm, please, it's right beside the door. Whatever. 
whatever I can find first. <coughs> So I can all brush over to new release. Where am I supposed to put it, by the way? Okay, gonna make it there just in time. goods, I'll place them, then we play the waiting game. Dang, Varmint is more clever than I done thanked. Little bugger. Think you can outsmart me, do ya? Next time? Ooh, you better believe next time there won't be a next time. Next time, or my name ain't Elsie, the rudeness, tootinest, yak girl this side of the yip. Oh, gosh, no. 
I went and hurt the little bugger. All I ever wanted was to have a little fun. <laughs> hey, you know what this means, don't you? We gotta track him down again and patch it up. First, we need to get some medicine. Can you take care of that while I try to track it down again? Let's rendezvous as soon as possible. Be quick, it must be scared and hurt. Meerkat. I got oregano. I think I have some yellow flower. Hey. Yellow lavender. I just pick it up on the way there. Are. Looks like you got some good stuff there. All right, I tracked it down to a general area. Come on. Yeah, I also saw it down here. Standing, you hear? We're gonna take real good care of you from now on. All right? <laughs> Would you look at that? Looks like all's forgiven, I'd go so far as to say. Let's take you back to the ranch, all right, little one? I won't let any more mean old yak girls cause you no harm. <laughs> Too many negatives. I hate <laughs> double negatives. Well, all right. I think I can take things from here. Come visit our new friend here at the ranch when you get a minute. Thanks for the help. So long for now. Oh, wow. She became our associate. Sweet. Can't really interact with it. That's fine. I wonder if Elise is ever going to learn that she can be rough. Her heart's in the right place, but... <coughs> gotta know when too much is too much.
there was an autofill option as soon as you headed into the fencing area. That's where the rubber's supposed to go, but I don't have any place for it. Uh, I'll just put it, take that up, put that in. The only commission I have at the moment. Oh, right. Still gotta get that. Okay, Thursdays. Nothing special happens on Thursdays, I don't think. Make that now. I guess I'll do that. Um, but what I wanted to do was make some water. isn't it? Yep, um, running of the act mill. I finish them if I can get another one for the day.
the new builder. I discovered this. I'm using them all the time. All the time. I have to go down the good way. Shoot! That was a chest. Oh, there's one up there, too. Take her easy. Okay, so...
Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Did I get it? Oh shoot, that was my health. Hmm. Looks like you can't power buffs on top of each other. my stamina is gone. Huh. I think that was a rather successful day, successful day of gathering.
found out I made a mistake. Medical testing. Edit that. I'm supposed to wake up at. Let's set it for 10. Confirm. This we can set for eight. There we go. Meantime, let's get a couple more uh, commissions. work that much harder to impress them. I need bronze bars. Why wouldn't I need bronze bars? Okay, after these commissions, I'm heading down to the uh, salvage yard. I'm looking at the arrows in the map, but they do to try and see where to go. I'm not looking up at the green check mark on the screen whenever I'm looking to see where to go. Howdy! How pink. Goodbye! 
Well, it covered for the bronze bars, plus a little bit more. I wonder where my standing is right now. Right. Shop, and then we're going to go to the junkyard. You know the blue stuff is the good stuff. Usually. Just to prove me wrong. Gathering. Okay. This is the one I want. What is these two I need to do anyway? Herbal knowledge. Get twice as much dew when collecting. Shoot! Twice as many dreads when digging up junk piles. Eh, I'm good. New? Well, this is a surprise. I predicted the Civil Corps would show up any minute now to rescue me, but I didn't expect them to send some random individual. Nevertheless, you are here now. Proceed with your extraction plan. I won't complain. Oh boy. <laughs> You do have a plan, right? Wait, wait. By the look on your face, 
Perhaps you're not a rescuer, but a fellow prisoner instead. Oh. Okay, well, you can join the club and sit over there while we wait for the proper authority to appear. Hold on, I recognize you. You're the new builder. Hmm. Perhaps we don't have to wait. With my intellect and your logistical aptitude, there may yet be new possibilities to extricate ourselves from this predicament. Let's look around this area to see if there's anything we can use to escape, relics or otherwise. I fell into this area seeking relics from my laboratory. Upon concluding the indisputable nature of my confinement, I decided to take a nap. According to my calculations, I've been down here somewhere between two hours and two days. <laughs> What does Key's hammer do? <laughs> Tool strength 15. Tool strength 10%. Degrade is 12%. Mine's stronger. Hmm, perhaps if this machine were repurposed somewhat, it could be fitted with an engine. With enough propulsion, we could likely fly through that hole in the ceiling! Uh, huh? However, any minor miscalculation in trajectory might cause us to... die. Which would be suboptimal. Let's put this one down as Plan Z. <laughs> or, perhaps just use your pick hammer to break it down into scrap. I'll leave it to your discretion. This machine reminds me of something very obscure, something you never would have heard of. In certain old world literature, it was imagined that time travel might one day be possible. If only I could go back in time and warn myself not to travel into this tunnel. Huh, yeah. I could also tell my past self that you'd be falling down here around this time, and then send myself to rescue you, solving this entire ordeal. That is, if my past self wasn't too busy right now. Wishful thinking, I'm afraid. Also, the fact that I did not meet myself before falling in here means that I do not uncover the secrets of time travel on this particular timeline. Or is there a reason I would have allowed this to happen? In any case, this machine would probably do us better as scrap. Can you break it down with your pick hammer? Looking up towards the skies for answers. That's entirely the reason I'm in this predicament in the first place. Well, Builder, our objective is rather straightforward, is it not? Exit through that gap above. Indeed, a mean difference in altitude has managed to contain us here. I could build something here to get as close to the exit if I had enough materials. Mm, pay me no mind, Builder. Complaining won't improve our situation. I suggest we continue looking around. Oh, using the environment to bridge the gap between us and that opening up there. Brilliant. In any case, let's save our celebrations for the service. After you, Builder. Finally! How serendipitous that you were the next to fall into that cavern! Why did you come here? Science! Stupid question. 
According to civil core survey reports, I deduce the likelihood of uncovering a usable equatorial mount in these rooms to be upwards of 99.9%. Unfortunately, despite my in-depth and thoroughly digestible explanation, none of the civil core members were able to comprehend the significance of an equatorial mount. Thusly, it became imperative that I come here myself, and hence, our untimely meeting. My venture proved not only unfruitful, but also has caused a delay in my research. I must be heading back to the research center to make up for lost time. Perhaps I'll hire someone to continue to search for me. I'm glad you asked. In order to facilitate the expeditious referencing and notation of celestial coordinates, a rare old world relic is required. The Equatorial Mount. Yes. Uh... By aligning one rotational axis of a telescope's mount parallel to our planet's axis of rotation, an internal mechanism known as a clock drive will rotate the telescope over a period of a day in contrast with the rotation of our planet in order to compensate for its motion. Are you talking about a sextant or... Once the state has been achieved, one need only adjust the right ascension and declination dials on the equatorial mount to find any celestial body in the sky in only a matter of moments, based, of course, on the celestial coordinates. Hmm, I can. But your understanding of this subject is not really relevant to the matter at hand. Perhaps another time. The relationship is not close enough for you to open up about this yet. In any case, I must be going. I will find some way to seek out an equatorial mount at a later date. Mm. Render unto builders the things that are builders. Indeed, you would be much more suited to the task. Surely you'll be able to find pieces of an equatorial mount in the abandoned ruins, likely on a lower level. Once you've found the pieces by diving in the ruins, you can use the restoration machine at Katori's museum to make it whole again. Please bring it to me at that point and not before. Goodbye. Hey there. Remember, I'm not interested in simply fragments of an old relic. I want the whole device in one piece, ideally working. The civil core keep bringing me rubbish. What's the even confused an actuator for a transistor? Can you believe that? Hmm. How do you speed that up? Oh, heck no. Goodbye. Number nine, of course. This isn't helping much. Now, where's my big hole?
really am <coughs> confused. This is supposed to be the door. I should just redo that level. Otherwise, it seems a little broken or bugged. I got 
lots of copper bars. next episode I think I will call that an end so a lot of resource gathering not much else we can do and we get some resources done we get we get some commissions done we get the resources to do those commissions that's what we're at this point unfortunately so I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes if you are hit the like and subscribe button I hope you guys are having a great rest of the day this is the Garris Moon. Over and out. Bye!